And even if you're creating content for me, for example, if I want to create content, let me just right here. What dog breed is calm, right? That is a piece of content that I can create. The top 10 dog breeds that are calm, right? All right, guys, yo, what's up? What's going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this tool called SEO Minion. Really awesome tool. It's a Google Chrome extension, but it's freaking so powerful that I'm gonna explain it to you guys in this video. And make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because it helps me. All right, so I came over here to Google, typed in Bulldog, and first first and foremost, right here, here's a tool, it's called SEO Minion. You can see it has over 100,000 users. If you're not using this tool, make sure you, it's a Chrome extension. So just go to the Chrome store, install it. I'll put it down below in the description and it's gonna give you a ton of information. I want you guys to think about it this way. So think about your niche or whatever niche that you're trying to attack. What we're going to do is the example is like the bulldog niche. So, okay, English bulldog, whatever bulldog. <laughs> so Google, came to Google, typed in bulldog. Of course, the cool thing about Google is like, there's a ton of information over here, right? It tells you related searches, American bulldog, French bulldog, bulldog breeds, and it gets so on and so forth. And there's, and this right here, there's a ton of information here too as well that's keywords everywhere that's a different video but for this example it's like okay let's say i'm new to this niche and i don't know nothing about bulldogs okay my goal is to see like i want to learn the niche i want to figure out what people are searching for so i'm going to come down over here to this right here this little this is the seo minion right here and then i'm going to come over here to p a a suggestions 200 clicks and basically what that's going to do, you can see it working at the left-hand side. It's pretty much just gathering all the data. You know what I mean? All the, pretty much all the questions and stuff like that. All the, like, like the headlines and stuff and people are, are, are using, for example, is a bulldog a good family dog? Why English bulldogs are the worst? Why are bulldogs so aggressive? Um, people also ask, basically just asking you know what I mean? It's, it's scraping Google for all that. So that is what PAA stands for. And it's gathering all the information. Okay. And it's going to put it into a spreadsheet for us. Right. Um, it's downloading. It's at 44%. For five, you can see it right there. Now, this is crazy because you can learn what people are searching for in the news. So think about it this way. This is going to help you. You can see what they're searching for. You know, what problems they're having. You can see what the bulldogs are having, what problems if the bulldogs are having problems. Why are bulldogs so aggressive? You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? You're getting on going with this. Let me let this download a little bit so you can understand exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're trying to figure out where that source is coming from, uh, people also ask. You see it right here. Click right here. And the three little dots about this result. It's the beta source. These are questions people we commonly search on Google. Okay. So if people were searching this on Google, it's really awesome that we have this at our freaking fingertips in this day of a like this is crazy right this is like it's powerful it's crazy learning how people search on the internet and trying to figure something out or tr try to provide something for them is one of the ways that I'm successful selling online because I, I I listen I pay attention so implement this for whatever you're doing in your niche and it is a win-win situation for you and your business. All right, so it put it into a nice CSV file for us. I am going to put it here. Now it's going to basically, so it's it generated a ton of questions here for us. Now this can work in several different ways, right? This So if you're designing something, let's say you, you're, you're trying to create a product or something like that for your niche, you can get a ton of information in here and it's gonna give you like ideas. This can give you inspiration for a, a design. This can be inspiration for your niche. This can help you find a pain point for a customer. Uh, so you're creating an FBA product or you're just gonna create a design for a t-shirt for Amazon merch or you have your own website and you wanna start making blogs and all that stuff, right? There's so many different ways that you can use these and leverage this and it's it's amazing okay this is how powerful this tool is okay you see it's giving you the url and the title and stuff like that as we go down this you're gonna see you're gonna see a ton of uh questions that are being asked 
right? Our Bulldogs lazy, right? And then you can, you can go down here and then it shows the website and all that stuff. Um, now let's, let's look at this. We have, <laughs> oh God, we have content for the, we have a piece of content pretty much for every single day of the year. More than that now, because we're at 487. Um, this is how powerful this tool is. Okay. And the reason why I'm showing you this guys is like I told you, it's, I want you to get in inspiration from this. Okay. If you're looking in here and you're trying to figure out what are bulldogs, what do they do or what are people searching for in the niche? Cause literally once you figure out what are people are searching for in a niche and you give them a product or a solution, are you fixing the problem? Right. You just win, right? You win. <laughs> so, and even if you're creating content for me, for example, if I want to create content, let me just right here. What dog breed is calm, right? That is a piece of content that I can create. The top 10 dog breeds that are calm, right? What's the most expensive dog? The top five most expensive dogs in the US, right? <laughs> you, you get where I'm going with this? Oh, look at right here. That's right there. Top 10 expensive dogs. And it goes on. You see that? So, but it gives you the, the, like the link and stuff like that. So you can check that out. But this is how powerful this is. And I wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. It's free too. So download it. I'll put it down below in the description. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and watch my next video up here.